A template is a pre-configured Excel worksheet that contains the basis of an Excel solution. You might use a template for a task such as an invoice so that you can quickly create an invoice anytime you need one. Using a template ensures that the invoice will have the same layout as every other invoice. Here's an invoice that I've created. There are places here for entering data and there are formulas here for calculating the line items, the subtotal, state and local taxes and the overall invoice total. I want to use this invoice as a template so that I don't have to create this worksheet every time I need to send out an invoice. I also don't want to do what I'm about to do here and that is open an existing invoice and then make changes to it and save it giving it a new number. The reason for this is that this process is prone to error. It's all too easy to mistakenly click the save button instead of choosing file save as. If you click the save button after you've made changes to this invoice you'll overwrite your original data so you'll lose that original invoice. The best solution is to use a template. So I'm going to convert this document into a template and the first thing I'm going to do is to remove any of this data that does not appear in every single invoice and that is all the data that relates to just this invoice. I'm going to leave in my formulas and my state and local taxes and my net 30 days terms. This document is or this worksheet is now ready to be saved as a template. To do this I'll choose File and then Save As. And I must select Computer because that's where my templates are stored and then I'll click Browse. And the first thing I'll do is to change the Save As type because this is not going to be an Excel workbook, it's going to be a special kind of workbook called a template. And this is what I need to select, Excel Template. It's an XLTX format file. I'll click this and you can see that now Excel has taken me to my Custom Office Templates folder. Templates have to be saved here to be accessible and they need to have the XLTX extension. So provided you choose the Save As type, Excel is automatically going to open up for you your Custom Office Templates folder and all you have to do is to name your file. I'm going to call mine Customer Invoice and having done that I'll click Save. It's now saved as a template. Because I no longer need this file I can close it. I'll choose File and then Close. In future, to create a new invoice, I'll choose File and then New. And then from this new dialog, I'll select Personal because that's where my personal custom templates are stored. And here's my customer invoice. I'm going to click this to select it. And here's the template that I created but it's been opened as a new document called Customer Invoice 1 and I can go ahead and add the data to it and then save this file and send it out. Templates are handy to use when there's a task that you perform repeatedly. They save you the effort of having to recreate the worksheet every time you need to perform that task. Templates are used extensively in many businesses to ensure consistency from one worksheet to the next and to save time. They also make it easy for someone less familiar with Excel to complete a task such as creating and sending out an invoice.